All right, Jeff, then we've got a slew of guys who we tend to ignore or not recognize because they didn't get drafted. But that's not the end of the player acquisition process in the NFL. You look at any NFL roster, if you really weed through where these guys were drafted, then you come to a number of guys, and I would guess, and I think it would be substantiated, that it's 15 to 20% of the players in the NFL were not drafted. So there's still hope for these guys who are quality football players. It's not like, wow, number 256 guy got drafted, Forget number 257. There's guys that uh, are just as good of football players, but there just wasn't the fit or the evaluation that matched up with a particular team that was drafting. So there's a slew of players who had very successful careers. Bug Howard is is the guy that most people would recognize as having uh, a successful career there at North Carolina. We're, we're just coming through uh, uh, an era of North Carolina offense where the playmakers on offense and the quarterback play with uh, Marquise Williams and now Trubisky, of course, was exceptional, maybe better than we've ever seen it. And Bug Howard was one of those guys that was an integral part of this offense. From the moment Bug got in his freshman year, true freshman year against South Carolina, out at South Carolina, and showed no fear, caught passes going over the middle that most true freshmen wouldn't do. From that moment on, you knew you had something there. Each year, but he was tall and he was skinny. Each year he added to that frame and became just a guy that was just hard for any normal cornerback to guard. I think against Pitt this year, last second touchdown, pretty much caught one-handed in his left hand again with with the DB draped all over him. He's, his hands are there. He also is a big prototype type receiver. He's going to be that guy that can run all your intermediate routes, but you have to be careful because he can sneak behind you like he did that this year especially, but he's going to be that second, third, probably the third type receiver, not a slot, but that guy that can run your outs, run your ins and your slants and be able to go for the jump balls and red zone situations. He's going to the Indianapolis Colts. I think that's a good place for him to try to get on and make the team. He's, he's a guy that's going to push whoever's in front of him, but he's also a guy that they're going to realize is great to have in the locker room. And one of the, and one of the guys that you just you like to have around everybody else because he picks everybody up. So I think he's going into a great situation, just like any of these guys. When you get to these last couple rounds, it's all about fit for the more so though for these free agents. They get to maybe go to a spot where they know they have a chance, and I think that's what Bugs looking at with the Colts.